And when you reach a certain age and you lose enough friends, you realize that hunting is almost like traveling down a road. And there's mile markers along your road. You don't know how many mile markers, but every hunt represents a mile marker. And I want to make sure that every mile marker I pass, when I look at that mile marker in the rearview mirror, I say, you know what? That was a fun hunt. At this point, hunting is about getting close. Close to the land I need, public land. Close to the life that I want to lead, the life of a hunter. And I think when you hunt enough, you feel very connected to this natural world. And when we live in a world a place where everything is going further and, and more disconnected from the natural world. There's a longing to, to stay connected. Smell different dirt, feel different winds. And I'm gonna chase deer that I've never chased before. I didn't expect to draw this tag. It's a limit entry tag here in Utah. And I applied without very many points. Mostly because I wanted to see a new place. Never been here before. And there was a time in my life where I would have lost a lot of sleep about the excitement and coming to a new place and man, am I gonna fill a tag? Am I gonna get a big one? Now, those, the role that that plays now is just, it's part of the hunt. The relationship I have with the animals is more important than putting one of them in my freezer. Don't get me wrong, I eat wild game pretty much as my staple. So over the course of a season, I'll get enough meat in my freezer, whether it's a cow elk or a white-tailed doe or whatever. But you really come to appreciate the animals more. You see what they go through, you see like here, there's hardly any water, but yet somehow these mule deer figure out how to make a living in here. Amazing.
is what I've been waiting for for two days. I had to stand up to clear that rock and uh, I don't think we on film Marcus was staying low and uh, I once he stopped walking away from me I whistled and he stopped and I just stood up and I cleared that rock and I could see like just about all of his chest but with the arc of your arrow I didn't have any worries about the rock being that low I can't believe I had that opportunity and I blew it. You don't get it back. You don't, <laughs> there are no redos. You either get them or you don't. And I didn't. Got close. It doesn't matter if I feel this tag or not. I've had a lot of fun chasing the few mule deer that are here. I've had to hunt my butt off, which is very rewarding. And I learned a little bit about myself. Obviously, I learned something about the deer. When you take the challenge that this is where you're coming, that this is what you want to do, you are accepting a real challenge. But that's all right. That, that is what I was looking for. I am looking for a hunt. I'm not looking for a sure thing. I'm not looking for a slam dunk. I'm looking for a place that is gonna make me think hard, work hard, hunt hard. And when it's all said and done, I'm gonna look at it. So you know what? That was worth every day, every step, every mile to do what I wanted to do. I think people worry too much about failure. Everything, every bit of knowledge I have, I think has come from a failure of some sort. And mule deer hunting is so classic to that for me, at least archery mule deer hunting. But those failures are what I draw from for knowledge. It's what teaches me and makes me feel like whether it's this species, this type of hunt, or some other hunt of some other species with a different weapon, there's a good chance that that failure is gonna teach me something that's useful going forward.
got to have a lot of respect for an animal with the senses of a man. This is where he spends every day of his life. He's figured out how to rely on his senses to get him through not just the whole year, get him through hunting season, get him through drought, through maybe blizzards. If it wasn't for the human brain and our technology, we wouldn't have a chance.
hours, dog. The deer one, I lost. Kind of expect that. Archery meal deer for big bucks. Nothing about size. It's all about wanting to hunt in a manner that pushes myself, that causes me to think more like the deer. Think about the land they live on. Think about what it means to hunt without getting close to the deer, being close and in touch and smell and feel the land they live on, having close encounters and close to what I love, my family, my friends, and being part of the natural world. That's really all I need for the perfect hunt. And I never thought I'd get to that point. <laughs>